This movie discuss the resin forward looking sonar used with PDS 2000. We will discuss how to set up a small simple demo project and some features of the used PDS 2000 views. Before we start the movie, there is an important amendment notification to be made. In this movie, the obstacle avoidance view is used. However, from PDS 2000 version 3923, the obstacle avoidance view is replaced by the sonar wedge view. The behavior of this view is exactly the same. We will quickly show how to make a new PDS 2000 forward looker project. We click file. We select new project. We give it a name. Click the next button to proceed. In this page project parameters could be set. For this demo we only set the coordinate system. Click coordinate system. For this demo we use the RD coordinate system. Click the select button to select a different system when required. Click next when the right system is selected. We select the applicable application type. In this case obstacle avoidance navigation. We click next again. And one time more next. Now we have to define a new vessel configuration. First we enter the name. Followed by next. We click add to add a new vessel. We click new. We enter the name for this new vessel. Followed by next. For this quick demo we skip to generate offsets. Of course for a real survey this must be done. We click next again. Now we will select the proper devices. With the scroll bar we scroll through the device groups. For this demo we will use data from the resin 7123 forward looking sonar. For resin multi beams we could select the multi beam all options group. For others we have to use the multi beam group. Click multi beam all options. We select resin SIGBAT 7K. We click the add button to add the device. We disable the options we don't need for this demo. And after that we click OK. We remove them also. This is not necessary. But could avoid confusion. We also select the other devices for a proper project as positioning, attitude and heading. In this example the NMEA message. We click the add button to add the device to the device list. Same for the other devices. Heading. Let's say a NMEA heading message. We click head again. And we like to add the attitude device. Let's say a TSS1 message. In this example we will also not use baby data so let remove this as well. But this is also not necessary so up to the user to remove or not.
our selected devices are listed. The next step is to configure the I.O. settings of the devices. We select a device. We click I.O. port. In this case already some ports are defined. For our demo we select the already defined port named 7128 as this has a correct IP address for us. But of course this could be different. In that case the port needs to be defined. If not listed we could create a new port by clicking the add button. By entering a name followed by other settings a new port is created. But in our case not needed so we press cancel. And OK. We do the same for the other devices. All the CBAT devices use the same port. Now for the position system. We see again a list with ports. It depends how the sensor is interfaced to the computer which one has to select. This could be Ethernet or serial communication for example. If the correct port is not listed click the add button to create a new port. In our case we select port 5600. And we click OK. We do the same for the other devices. For the position, the heading and the attitude we use port 5600 as we use this to simulate this data. In real life the ports are different. We click next. And next again. Next again. Next again as all this settings are not relevant for this demo. We will not log data in this demo so click one time more next. And now finish to finish the new project wizard. We click OK. Next. 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 And finish. And finish. Now the new project configuration wizard is finished. We press a lot of times next as we did not need to set up all parameters for this demo. We are able to simulate the position, the heading and the attitude. We do this with the PBS 2000 simulator. Clip tools. And clip simulator. We have to add the simulation devices. Clip at page button. We like to simulate the position. Clip position. We click the added position tag to edit the position parameters. We select our simulation port. And we select in our case 5600. This is the same port as set earlier in the PDS equipment aisle for the position system. If the port is not in the list we could create one by the configuration tab. Click the set position button to set the position. And we enter our position to simulate. We go back to the configuration tab to add the other devices to simulate. We like to simulate heading as well. And we need to set it up. We select port 5600. Same procedure for the attitude. Notice in the configuration tab you can add ports when they are not listed. 
you can add serial ports or sockets. We use socket 5600 as this was also selected in our PDS project for the I.O. Adding the port is done by pressing the Add button and filling in the required parameters. We select the TSS1 message as this was also used in our project for attitude. And we select again 5600 as our port. The simulator is now configured. When we close this dialog the simulator still runs. Let's configure our screen layout. We will do this in real time. Click real time. Put some alerts as we did not configure our devices properly. Like the timing. But for now we will ignore this. Of course in real life you have to solve the error. We are now real time. Let's add some views. We start with adding a control view. This is a special view which enables us to control the Sirbat from PDS 2000. Click for this view tools. Equipment control. We select our device. This is only available when we select the correct driver in our project setup. We click the add button. We click close. Right click in the workspace for a context menu. We click the add display button. In the drop down list we click plan view. And we click navigation to add the navigation plan view. We right click in the workspace again. And with the context menus we add the forward looking view. We will also add the raw data view for fault finding purpose. All the views we like are in the display. We like to organize the views. We right click in the title bar for a context menu. We select dock to left. To dock the view to the left side of the display. We do the same for the device configuration view. The data and device configuration view are now docked at the left. We now can drag the device configuration view at the raw data view. And resize a little. We can dock the forward looking view at top of the display. We also resize to fit better. Like this, now we just maximize the plan view and we have a nice screen layout. With the device configuration view we are able to control the Sirbat. With the raw data view we can check our device data streams. With the obstacle avoidance forward looking view we see the sonar view as displayed in the CBAT user interface. In the plan view navigation view we see our vessel with the forward looking image displayed. 
it is possible to create targets in the view. Right click and select Create Sonar Target from the context menu. Now left click and drag the box around your target. The target view is displayed with target information. The information could be edited. Save the target and we close the sonar target view. Click close. Properties of the forward looking image could be changed. We can change the transparency of the sonar image. When the heading of the vessel changes the image will follow. With the scroll wheel of the mouse we can zoom in or out. As common in PDS 2000 layers could be added to the view. For instance the C-Map chart layer. We open the layer control and we add a C-Map layer. The C-Map chart layer is added. So now we see the wedge in the view with a chart layer as a reference. By changing the transparency we can visualize the C-Map chart or the Sonar Wedge better as discussed earlier. Teledyne Resson Everywhere you look.